I've been on the video today, free to back again for another deck review. <coughs> this is the Opium playing cards. And no, they're not made with Opium. Not that I know of, anyways. I got these from a one of my friends on Facebook and um or one of my followers on Facebook. And let's have a look at them. The top says Deluxe Poker. And it says Opium, Large Index Cards, and then Plain Cards, and then you got a little Spade Pit on there. That's pretty interesting. Look at then in the corner you got, so it's the index of one of the cards. Sack of Hearts. On the one side it says Opium, Large Index Cards, and Opium, Large Index Cards. It says twice. Give it. And then there's a little spade pip on the other side. It says the exact same thing. Opium Lords Index Cards. Twice. At the top it says uh, apparently Lords Index Cards. I need to seal. The bottom says 55 cards and there's a barcode. The back. So the back design which is... That, I'm not even sure how to describe it. <laughs> it's red and gold. And this one is blue and gold. And dirty, apparently. And then there's a seal which says, wait, I'll let you guess. <laughs> it says Jumbo Index Cards and Jumbo Index Cards. And there's a little spade pip on there. This is from India, by the way. Nothing on the flap. There is no thumb thing here. Like most decks have. And then we get to the faces. These cards have. They are not embossed, it's just a smooth plastic coated finish. And they're pretty warped, as you can see. Pretty standard faces. Uh, with a creamy color here in the center, yellowy color. And just jumbo indexes. Fairly standard court cards, jokers. Here is the jokers. It just says joker in the corner with a flowery type thing. And same here. And then you got a guy sitting down on the ground in a clown outfit. He's holding up a card with a heart on it that could be used, I guess, as an ace of hearts reveal. And then his little stick thing in his hand. Court cards, um, fairly standard. Uh, if you look at them, lots of yellow, some red. The Ace of Spades, is this the same spade paper you see on the box? Nothing more, nothing less. And that's pretty much it. The other Joker is identical. Mm -hmm. Back design, like I said before. like that. It kind of looks like a, a window screen type thing, a mess or something like that. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Basically, it looks like something that's been woven together. Kind of like a window screen. <laughs> um, there you go. It's pretty interesting. The cards have a decent stock. Kind of, I would say, not really a bicycle, more like an aviator. And you can see they're pretty warped. They don't suffer that good because of how warped they are. And... <clears throat> They fan pretty good though, in my opinion, and <coughs> spread pretty nice as well. <coughs> it's good if you're, you know, in India and you don't have bicycles, you can get one of these. Of course, I would recommend putting them in a card clip to try and straighten them out. Voila, it works. <laughs> So, it's a, a decent replacement for a bicycle 
but definitely needs to be straightened out in order for it to work better. The other one. The exact same thing, except red and still pretty warped. But overall, not bad for something that's not USB-C. It's made in India and it is what it is. <clears throat> that's what I got. Stay tuned. More reviews coming your way. I'll see you next time.